Hello, boys and girls. I'm here to talk to you about day two of our Jane Goodall week. Um, today, we're going to take some reading skills that we've already done this year and work them in with biographies. So hopefully you learned a little about Jane Goodall on Monday, about her life and what she did. So we're going to, we're going to continue building on that today. Now, just as a reminder, a biography is a text written to inform about a real person's life. And it could be in the present or it could be in the past. Um, the author uses narration to tell the story of the person's life. They tell all about them like they're not a part of the story. They're telling about what happened, even though they're not a character. And here are some text features of biography. We talked about them last week. A lot of them are similar to other nonfiction texts. They have facts. Uh, there's table of contents. There's pictures, captions, headings, big important moments in their life. Uh, it goes in a chronological order, different things like that. All right. So here's the part where we're going to implement uh, some skills we've already learned in the year, and we're going to see how that works with our biographies. So we talked about character traits uh, in third grade. So character traits, you can infer someone's character trait by thinking about or analyzing what they say and do. So we can think about them by analyzing what people feel. We can think about them by analyzing what people say, which is their dialogue, their actions, what they do, and their thoughts, what they think. All right. So here's an example of their feelings. I'm reading out of the red box, so follow along with me. When Seth saw the pile of junk, a feeling of excitement bubbled up inside him. He couldn't wait to begin building the object he was imagining. So hearing that about Seth, you can infer that Seth is creative. You may also be able to come up with some other character traits for Seth based on that, but he, <clears throat> he felt very excited. That's what we inferred on his feelings. Take a look at the purple box and let's think about dialogue. This is how we're going to split the work, Daniela said sternly. It'll work on the post. I'll work on the poster while you two work on what we're going to say for the presentation. We can infer that Daniela is bossy. There's a word in there that describes how she said it, which is sternly. And she took charge and told other people what to do. So we can infor infer that she's bossy. We can infer character traits by looking at someone's actions. I'm reading out of the green box now. Brandon glanced at his math assignment and sighed. It would take too long to do these five story problems. He quickly scribbled some random numbers on the line and slammed his book shut. Done. We can infer that Brandon is lazy. So think in there, what makes him lazy? He decided it would take too long. He scribbled some random numbers and then he slammed his book shut. He didn't think about them. He didn't use strategies. He just wanted to get it done. Brandon is lazy. We can infer by analyzing someone's thoughts. Kelly wondered what would happen if she told her dad that her mom said the sleepover was okay. And if she, all, if she told her mom that her dad had already approved the sleepover, Kelly grinned. I think it will work. This is what Kelly's thinking. We could infer that she's devious or she's trying to be tricky. Okay. So these are four character traits. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead. Here's a bunch more. This page should look familiar to you. We used it. We glued it into our, um, one of our, I believe our reading journal. And we referred back to it when we needed to find character traits. So I have this in here because you're going to need to use it. So here's your job. You have a short three paragraph page about Jane Goodall's life. It gives you a brief overview. So you're going to read through this. No adult is reading today, you're reading. Then jumping ahead two slides, you are going to pick character traits for Jane Goodall. There are one, two, three, four, five, six boxes here. 
I would like you to try and fill in all of these six boxes with a character trait. Okay. Then it says type here out in the sides. You can add other information about her in there. You don't have to. Those are just there as extras. I would be happy if you could get six. When I started thinking about it very quickly, I came up with four off the top of my head. Then I went back to this list and started looking. You can start right on this list. Okay. If you can't find anything you like, you can Google some character traits um, and think what could apply to Jane. Okay. What we don't want here are things that are, um, you know, like pretty, cool, fun. Okay. You are super close to being fourth graders. So we want to use more complex words than cool, fun, nice. Okay. We can talk about this a little bit more on morning meeting. And I believe that is it.